Hey everybody, welcome to the Nintendo Power Couple. I'm Danny. And I'm Felia, and today we are gonna talk about Let's Go Pikachu! Ooh, and Let's Go Eevee! <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, before we begin, we do have to say that um, at E3, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and <laughs> Let's Go Eevee was on extreme lockdown. Oh, yeah. You weren't allowed to film the um, off screen on the showroom floor. And no we had, direct feed. No direct. We were at the private point with Nintendo, no direct feed. We couldn't take pictures. We couldn't take pictures of the Pokeball. We were nothing. No picture, yeah. no video. We could only talk about what we've experienced, which is what we're going to do Total now. Total lockdown. You couldn't even be outside of the booth and filming and like accidentally film the screen no. like none of it so but before we begin too we did get some video of us hanging out with the actual costume pikachu yes! and eevee which was adorable and you got to give pikachu How dare a hug you say costume that was the real was... pikachu okay <laughs> i hugged the real pikachu <laughs> pikachu and eevee they were so sweet uh, we just want to thank real quick too all the yes. nintendo staff that was on the showroom floor uh, they gave us the Pokeballs, which was really cool. Thank you to all the cool. Nintendo reps. We really appreciate it. And the, everyone was so nice. Yeah. You guys helped us take video and pictures and gave us a, a couple minutes to like do our little thing. Hang on with the real Pikachu and Eevee. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. So um, let's jump into the game. Um, the demo we got to play was very linear and limited, but it got to kind of show off what the game is going to yeah, be. Yeah, basically I think they were just trying to show you how the um, the catch mechanic works and how um, like battling works. Yes. So basically uh, we were put into this uh, small little area that yeah. had like grasslands, um, uh, and you just basically walk through and you can like talk, get pinged by a um, the trainers that are standing around wait they're always waiting to do a pokemon <laughs> battle they they're just, always waiting in the bushes <laughs> and just standing there for hours on end waiting for they're like that that guy's walking by let's get him now yeah. that's that time to battle you know uh persistent and, and what's interesting is actually you see the pokemon that you can um capture yeah you see them walking around so it's no longer you're just walking around in the grass and um randomly you get um, sucked into battle. You can Which actually. It's a time saver, I, I feel it like. Is. Because you don't, you no longer, you're like, I have 100 Pidgeys, I don't want yes. 101, so I'm gonna avoid all those Pidgeys that are over Run there. Run away from that guy. Yeah. But what's cool is there's actually also, um, like, indicators that tell you if the certain type of Pokemon is larger or smaller, um, which affects their strength. Um, so and I think, I think also like, the um, candy thing too. They wouldn't really they, they wouldn't go into too many details either about <laughs> what the size of the Pokemon really would would mean, like whether catching a smaller or a larger species, um, uh, the same species would really do. Uh, yeah, we didn't get too yeah. many details. We could, we weren't even allowed to even see the menus. Like, we could not even check yeah. out what the menu looked like. Every time we hit, we, had, we both accidentally <laughs> went to the menu. We were told, "Gotta go back, gotta go back." So we had to like quickly, by you know, by accident. Yeah. But, yeah. What's really cool is we <laughs> did get to try out the Pokeball. Um, Pokeball Plus. This, sadly, this is not the actual. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, I'm gonna say it was pretty similar, though. Honestly, yeah. in size, um, in the commercial, in the in the trailer, we saw. It looked a lot bigger, but I think that's because kids were using it in the trailer. It, yeah, if you hold it in your hand, it kind of seems similar. Maybe a tiny little bit bigger than these. But um, this is like a pretty good reference you point. you hold it in your hand like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's a pretty good reference point. And there is a button on the top. It would be right over here. There would be a button to press. And the um, the center of the Pokeball is your control stick, which yeah. also counts as another button. One of them's A and B. I forget which one was which, but yeah. you I actually push on the stick to... The stick is your A button, and the B button is the top. on top is the B button. And that's it. There's no yeah. other buttons on the controller, and... Um, there is a wrist strap, um, and there's actually a finger strap, too, so you it's can... It's a ring. Yeah. Like, it's a, it, the ring, it, it attaches it to the uh, back of the Pokeball. The ring goes on your finger, so you can't drop the ball. Accidentally throw it away. Way when you're trying to throw it at the TV. And what we saw is like we were we were talking about th the throw mechanic. Now we since we live in a rural area, we don't really get into Pokemon Go uh, because we have to drive we all over the place. Try, we did but try, but the, the first very first Pokemon we could find, we had to actually like drive five drive. minutes so we could get and then to catch find one. So we were like, we have we have we don't yeah. have enough time to drive around. But now that there's integration with this, we're gonna try to probably get back into it to catch some Pokemon. We'll find it, like go to the town close to the by <laughs> and just walk around town. Go to New York. For the day and just walk around and catch yeah. them um but what was cool um 
about the Pokemon Go. Well, I, I felt like the controller, um, for me, felt comfortable. Like, it kind of felt cool. I never knew how the, the catch mechanic worked in Pokemon Go with the whole, like, the reticule thing having to be a certain type to get, yeah. like, the perfect throws. Uh, what we learned was that, like, you would kind of throw like this. Like, it was, like, this, like, the way it worked at the time of the demo, which might not be how it is yeah. on the final bill, but, like, we kind of had, like, you, like, snap to throw the ball, you know, and that's how yeah, you would kind of... Yeah, you do have to be sort of precise in throwing forward rather than, like, like throwing sideways, because it will actually throw your ball diagonally. Yeah, I missed, yeah. I missed one. Because a couple times I was trying it, and even if it's not, like, a quick snap back, I did, like, try to throw it, and you have to be sort of, like, facing forward, throwing it forward for it um, to be accurate. I try. I think it was a Weevil I tried to catch, and it took me forever because I kept trying to throw my good Pokeballs at him, and it would just, even if I got an excellent throw, it, well, he kept breaking out of the Pokeball. I would throw fruit, he would eat the fruit, I would try, and eventually he <laughs> ran away, and the no! rep the rep that was there said, he goes, oh, because I haven't seen that yet, and I'm like, that's not, I don't think that's a record I wanted to set was being the first person he saw he that not catch, a, not catch a Pokemon and run away at a board, and the Pokemon was like, I'm done, I'm gonna yeah. go. But, um... I did enjoy the catch mechanic, though. I mean, yeah. I, I know I kind of, you know, I know everybody's gonna say like they missed the uh, battling them down to a certain point, which I do too. But this felt fine, though. When you, when we were playing this, I yeah. didn't mind it, you know. And I thought that there and might the be more. And the battling system, um, when you're battling other trainers, it felt a lot like Sun and Moon to me. Yeah. So it's pretty much as it should be for the battling. Yeah, um, it, it's all the handheld. It's all the handheld. It, it plays exactly, thankfully, like yeah. the Pokemon so you I guys all know and love. I think it's some sort of combination between like Pokemon Go and the regular what we expect yes. for a handheld Pokemon game. Absolutely. Um, it's some sort of hybrid that I think is actually going to be fun. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for it. I I'm repping I'm repping Eevee. Yep, and I'm repping rep, <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> repping Pikachu. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. There was, we um we didn't get much time with it. Like I said, it was very short, very limited. Um, the Pokeball Plus was cool. We did they did have Pikachu in the ball, so they did shake Pikachu around so you could hear him. And it was cool because yeah. it, 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 it did sound like Pikachu was actually in the ball. You felt the rumble. Even when you were catching a Pokemon, you and would feel the rumble. Sounds. There's multiple sounds for Pikachu, and uh, I'm sure Eevee as well. Uh, but when you catch a Pokemon, you actually feel the rumble in the ball, like it's moving around. It was it was really, with the yeah. HD rumble, it was really cool. Like, it seems to me like this is the closest you would get to being like like the Pokemon trainer because you get to carry your Pokemon around in a ball, and when you shake it, you hear it, and you, you know. And we were talking about the actual size of the Pokeball. Even though it might seem kind of small for like an adult player, um, in some ways it's probably better that it's on the smaller size because if you're putting it into your purse or if you're a guy and you're hanging putting it, it off into your, your wallet, yeah, or hang putting your wallet, it your belt. <laughs> <laughs> or putting it into your um, your pocket, you don't want this huge thing to yeah. have to lug around. So it's kind of like a good size. And and when you were playing it in your hand, did you feel like it was too small because no, your hands are pretty I didn't. big? I really didn't. Like it was it, it was weird at first, but it, it it just felt natural after a while. That's you know, good. you you kind of play with your thumb on the stick and your and your index finger on the B button, and you, and you just kind of find yourself just you know it just kind of goes into it. Yeah. Like, you don't really think about it, you know. That's good. That's good Which to is... know for, like, because it's si slightly on the smaller size, like, the younger players can still enjoy playing with it, and the older players that may have bigger hands can enjoy playing it, too, without feeling like, oh, my gosh, what is this little toy? I think this is going to be a big hit because I feel like, you know, a back, back when I was in um, elementary school was when the Pokemon cards hit, and, like, we had our binders and our, our decks with us yeah. and like we were ready to play and playing in the cafeteria yes and i could imagine if, if you go back to this you know sixth grade danny and you're like well here's a pokeball that you could bring to school with you and shake it around and yeah. you could you know and then have a switch you could set down and battle friends with and, and, and everything like that would have been what pokemon that was my did life. you bring to school today <laughs> yes that would have been that would or have what been what pokemon <laughs> did you bring to work today that would have been Perfect, and we and we were talking to the reps a little bit. They we could, again couldn't get much information because they weren't allowed to speak about as much. Um, you do have Pikachu and Eevee with you um, in in following your in-game avatar, and you get as you guys saw in the treehouse an additional Pokemon of your choosing. Like you could have Charmander following you behind. So you have your trainer, and then you'll have Eevee or Pikachu, and you'll have another Pokemon which. Also, it, it, they said it was based on size. Yes. Like, Onyx, you will ride if yes. you have Onyx following you. I and... love that. So it feels really, like, authentic. Makes you feel like you're actually playing a real world. Because yeah. everybody's sized what they should be. Yeah. And you're, you know, you're 
avatar your character is walking alongside. So yeah. it's really cool. I'm very excited to play. Which one are we going to pick? Do you know? What well, do you we, think? Well, we said we're repping. We're totally <laughs> repping Eevee and Pikachu. Yeah, we've already decided <laughs> yeah. we're going to get both. I'm totally going Let's Go Pikachu. Th and Eevee. Yeah. And I think the game comes out, I think, four days before my birthday. So this is like, this is what I'm going to be spending my whole birthday doing. It's just catching Pokemon. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yep. <laughs> But, and um, the cool thing is, if you're um, if you're gonna get both, there are some Pokemon that you can get only in Let's Go Pikachu, and some Pokemon you can only get in Let's Go Eevee. So trade with friends. Either you get um, two for you know you and a family member, um, or you go to school, go to work, and trade with your friends. So there's a nice like community element in it as well. Yeah, once it launches in November, you're gonna see people walking around the streets, and you're gonna be like, I think there's a Pokeball hanging off yeah. of there. Like you're gonna see it all over the place. I can't wait. I think it's the, um, after playing it, um, I'm convinced. I, I mean, we love the trailer. When we saw the trailer, we were so excited for it. Um, wasn't too sure how it worked with the, with the catch mechanics, but after hands-on time with yeah. it, we're sold. Like, this is great. I know there's going to be, we're going to have the full-on sequel RPG Pokemon and, you know, core series uh, next year which coming out. Which we're going to be is, playing that as well. Yes, <laughs> but, but, for the, but to kind of hold us over for yeah. it, going back to Kanto, this is, this is, I can't wait. And I'm, I'm so excited. very excited to have my very own Pokeball. Yes, this me too. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm very curious if like later on they'll make different designs Master of that Ball control. And, that would be really cool. Yeah, or custom, we, or I know custom there's customs artists. out yeah. there. You know, shout out to Captain Alex who does all the Joy-Con. I'm yeah. sure that this is the Joy-Con you'll see him making some cool customs with. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about Pokemon, you can leave them below. We'll try our best to answer them based on what we've experienced. We didn't cover them in this video right now, but uh, you guys should be excited. We're excited. We're very this is, excited. This is going to be an awesome winter to be a Pokemon <laughs> fan. So, as always, guys, gaming is... Better together. <laughs> so, and until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, so if you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Nintendo Power Couple YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. And if you want to support our channel, be sure to check out our Patreon or grab yourself some NPC merch. So remember guys, gaming is always better together, so until next time, thanks, thanks for watching! watching.